For a whole year, I've been following a remarkable family of baby elephants in Kenya. A family of elephants raised by people. Every one of these little elephants is an orphan, rescued from the wild, having lost their mother. They've all been brought to a unique nursery in Nairobi, where they receive the intense love and care that they desperately need. All of these babies have been saved from certain death in the wild by the vision of one woman, Daphne Sheldrick. Together with her team of dedicated keepers, she's giving orphan baby elephants a second chance for a normal life in the wild, where they belong. By the time they're two years old, the young babies are ready to leave the security of the nursery and are brought here. This is Savo National Park, and we're about 350 kilometers east of where Michaela is at the Nairobi Orphanage. And I've been following the older orphans as they make their long and difficult journey back into the wild. Yesterday on Elephant Diaries, the convoy carrying six orphan baby elephants to their new life in Sava was forced to stop when one of the elephants began to panic. How do you help with them? The elephants are charging. inside the truck and everyone hopes that the distraction of freshly cut food will help little Natasha deal with the trauma of this journey although it's very stressful for everyone involved we all hope it will be worth it the six little orphans in these trucks are part of a new venture they're destined to form a new orphan herd at Athumba a new release site in a remote corner of Savo John, we're off again, are we? Yeah. It's going to be an enormous challenge. But if all goes well, the hope is that over the coming years, they will gradually return to living wild. <laughs> scared after all the big ones have left. Uh, Domot is showing some signs of difficulty. He does not want to come to the keepers. He does not want to go to the other three who have settled down. Domot is doing all this because he was very much close to Wendy and he took Wendy as the mother. And even at night he wanted to sleep with Wendy. <laughs> But uh, we hope after a short time he will come to town later. Wendy is not there and he has to cope with the other three and be close to the keepers. 
All Edwin and the Keepers can do is offer love and comfort. But no one really knows if he will ever be able to cope with his new loss. This is Boy in the south of Savo, and most of the young elephants here came from the Nairobi nursery. Now they're learning what it takes to go back to the wild. For the time being at least, this herd still has its matriarch, a ten-year-old orphan called Emily, but they're also facing major changes. The Savo herd has grown enormously from just a few individuals. There's now 30, and so it's been decided to actually split the herd up. Four females have been selected for a very special job, helping the six orphans with Michaela cope in their new home. The plan is that they'll lead the new orphan herd, and in time, one of them will rise to the challenge and become the new matriarch. These older, more experienced elephants here in Boy are about to be taken north to the new release site at Ithumba to join up with the little ones already on their way there from Nairobi. So, as Emily leads the others out for the day, the four chosen females have been left behind in preparation for the big move. Now these are our four girls that are going to go north up to Ithumba and they've been kept back for the moment. So the rest of the herd's already gone out to feed. But we've put some treats just down there at that concrete ramp. That's where the trucks are going to be coming to, just to get them used to the idea of going down there. Among their favourite treats is a brown powder called copra. And the, co the copra, what, what actually is that? What's, what's in copra? I mean, the copra is uh, coconut. It's coconut? Yeah, it's coconut. Okay, it's which has got a lot of nutrients? Yeah. So that's really good for them. So it's not just a treat, it's actually also very good for the young elephants. Well, they obviously like it. Have you ever tried it? Shall we see what it's like? Is it good? This is a real treat for them, and it's all part of this process of just trying to get them used to the idea that it's okay to be coming here, that this is not something for them to be nervous about, isn't it? Yeah? This is Kinna, you can see with that sunburned ear. The tops of her ears were severely burnt when she was a baby. She'd lost her family and was stuck for days in mud out in the scorching sun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. She's decided I guess she will take them. That was a gift. You know, you know what I meant to check. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Okay, that's enough. I think they should be following the rest of the herd again out there where the real grub is. Come on, you lot. Let's go. Okay, Having got our four Ellies used to the loading ramp, they can rejoin Emily and the rest of their chums. Oh, next comes Emily now. What are you doing, Emily? That real sort of jaunty, bouncy movement there. Hello, Emily. Emily. <laughs> Emily. No, Emily, that's, that's not... Not for you. Actually, yeah, she's gonna. I think she might damage it. <clears throat> there we go. Oh no, I think maybe she's hurt. Listen, you see here now. It's the other four, and Emily's talking to them. Even with her back turned, she knew they were there. This is actually going to be the last time that they will join the herd of the morning. See that excitement now, they're coming back. <coughs> Emily's helped teach these four everything they know. The gamble is, will they take that knowledge with them to Ithumba? The future of the new herd depends on it. Problem is, none of them's more than five years old, and by Ellie's standards, that makes them still young children. So none of us know if the move will be successful. With all six little orphans from Nairobi still on board, we're approaching their new home. It's a long way north of where Jonathan is.
bit further to go because we're going to Itumba, which is in the north part of East Darbo. It's been very hot, it's been bumpy, it's been long. Hopefully our elephants are going to be okay. It must be incredibly stressful for them. It's also been a very noisy journey. So this is just a few hours in their lives, so hopefully it won't be long before they realise this long journey was worth it. She could hurt himself trying to climb out. But once the gates are opened, our excited little orphans can take their first steps to freedom. Everyone has arrived safely, and moments later, Wendy and the others follow Napasha. One by one, the babies experience the strange sights, sounds, and smells of their new home for the very first time. Wallow must be a very welcome relief. But the long journey was worth it, because these six little ones are now one step closer to living wild and free once again. With the young elephants starting to relax, the trucks head off to collect the four older females, who we hope will be joining us very soon. Meanwhile, back at the Nairobi nursery, the four babies we left behind are still slightly subdued. It's hard for them, but slowly they seem to be coming to terms with the fact that Wendy, their mini matriarch, has gone. They're obviously feeling very insecure and are sticking close to Edwin and the other keepers. But luckily, little Domot has finally calmed down and seems resigned to the fact that Wendy is no longer there. Even so, at the end of the day, as all the babies head off to bed, he can't help making one final check that she's not hiding somewhere. Before running to catch up with the others. Once home, all the babies settle down, safe in the knowledge that at least their human family are still there for them. The big day is finally here, and the trucks have arrived from Ithumba. Just let's take a look at that, my goodness me. Now if that's what one of the little ones with Michaela can do, and they're just two years old, I'm not looking forward to seeing what our ones are going to do. And they're much bigger. You can hear from the first two elephants. But what will they do now? I feel so They're 
bound to remember having been in trucks before, so the keepers are reassuring them that everything's okay. determined only to go as far as she wants. I'm not going to push now. No, 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 not yet. Okay, she's in. She's in. The doors are shut. Okay, we've got two in. Well, at least now we know that we're going to have two elephants going up to a thunder to join those little ones, and that is so important. Here come the second two. Do you know that's interesting again because this is Kinna, this one here with the with the damaged ear. Kinna at the moment seems to be the most feisty, almost as if she's the leader. Will she be the new matriarch? And if you look at her face, all elephants have a gland here, a temporal gland, and she's secreting tempering down her face. And that's a sign, perhaps, that she's excited, that she's giving off messages to the others. Something's going on, and it's different. So far, neither of these two elephants have actually been in, right inside the trucks. Let's see where the kids are ready. <laughs> Now what? It's the first morning here at the new release site, and after the drama of yesterday's truck journey, it's the first time our little Ellies have had a chance to explore their new surroundings. But everything's so different. They must be feeling very scared and disorientated. Wendy and the orphans today must be like starting a new school. Everything's changed, nothing's familiar. They're not really sure how to behave or what to do. In fact, the only things they're sticking to are the things they know, which are each other and the keepers. Our poor little orphans really do seem completely shell-shocked to be here. And they're also very jumpy this morning. Any slight noise, the ears go up, the trunk goes up, and they're very pushy this morning as well. Even greedy little Napasha seems to be off his food. For once, he's more interested in seeking reassurance than filling his tummy. Now, one thing that's really quite worrying is that in just one day, these elephants have visibly lost weight. In Nairobi, they were really quite plump. But if you look here, you can see it's quite sunk in and you can really see these hip bones. Now, there are two reasons for that. Yesterday, they spent eight hours on a truck, whereas normally they'd be grazing all day. And once they got here, they were too stressed to eat. Today, all this vegetation is new to them, and they're not really sure what they're supposed to be eating. It's very difficult seeing them like this. Wendy's done all she can, but she's actually out of her depth here. They really need the leadership of the bigger elephants as soon as possible. We've managed to get the first two elephants in. They hit the road an hour ago, but the last two are proving to be much more difficult. Convincing them to go in is going to be a lot tougher. Whenever the elephants travel, there's always a vet with us. The vet's actually trying to give them a sedative. Okay, they managed to inject one of them, but Kinna has run away before they could empty the syringe. Kinna's really upset now. You can tell she's looking out of the corner of her eye. She knows that something bad is going on behind her. Now, did that work? 
glad you know me. That's just so ironic. It just went so well with those first ten. I thought, yes, we're in, and maybe it'll just be easy. But these actually are the older two, and this is turning out to be much, much more difficult. I think the set of tests are beginning to work. So Yata should be pretty much ready to go in. She's just just slowly, slowly relaxing. Kina, I just don't know about you at all. But all she wants right now is to be back with Emily. Here they go. They're going to try and get Yetta in. This just shows you how powerful young elephant is. about Kenna. I want to stay and see what happens to her, but I just can't afford to lose the others. Right. Off we go. I've got a race to try and catch up with the others. They're way ahead by now. We've had to leave Kinna behind. I mean, she's been jabbed, she's had an injection, but whether they managed to get her into a truck or not, and get her to a number, I just haven't got a clue. I'll be amazed, to be honest, if they do. But, three elephants in trucks, three elephants for those little babies from the Nairobi orphanage, I mean, that is just so important. It's what it's all about. They need the security of a bigger elephant right now. They need a matriarch, somebody to rally around. And the irony is, I was so sure that it was going to be Kinna. To me, she seemed to be a leader. She was feisty. She was always bellowing her head off. She always wanted to get back towards where Emily was, leading the troops. And blow me if we haven't had to leave her behind. The keepers have heard by radio that some of the trucks have left. So we hope that help is on its way for our bewildered and exhausted little Ellies. Now this is a very calm, relaxed, peaceful scene, but in 20 minutes time, all that will change. The trucks from Voy will arrive. Now, no doubt the elephants will be nervous because they hear the sound of the trucks, but they also have the most amazing sense of communication, so it's highly likely that they will know that those elephants are on their way before they even see them, so they'll also be excited. So this calmness isn't going to last. This is basically the calm before the storm. What do they say, Bernard? The truck is five minutes away. Five minutes away? Yeah. So when we hear the truck, we're going to move the elephants closer? Yeah. Okay, we're down to the last leg now. Of course, in the back of my mind, the whole way has been Kinna. What has happened to Kinna? Is she on the road? Will she join the herd? Fingers crossed. Here we are. First question is, how are the Ellies? Right. Oh my goodness, I just hope everything's okay. So far, so good. I and mean, the drive was fantastic. And here they come. This is where the keepers really come into their own. Calming the Ellies down and reassuring them in this strange new place is vital. Now this is Yatta. She's the one that we had to sedate, so I'm just hoping that she's okay. She's bound to be a bit woozy. Okay, they're calling her to where the others are. <laughs> they're nodding their heads. It's just such a shame that only three of them have made it. Oh, fantastic. It's the other truck. It must be Kinna. They must have Kinna. That is so exciting. 
Now that is fantastic news. There was me thinking, hey, how are these three going to feel? They've left one behind. How was Kinder going to feel? She must be in the truck. Kinder ni Missouri. Sala. She's okay. I've got to let on. Kinder, I think, is my favorite. And here come the others. The others are coming over to have a look. I can't believe they want to go anywhere near a truck. Kinna must be calling to them. That's amazing. One large step to freedom. Brave little elephants. Now, these big girls are here for a reason, and I think they're about to find out what it is. Well, all the trucks have arrived now, so the keepers need to move the orphans towards the stockade. Now, I don't know how they're feeling, but I'm pretty excited. This really is make or break time. It's the babies. It's the babies. Look at that, that is just amazing. They incredibly calmly went up to see the bigger elephant. And now they just look a little bit for news. You can see they're all using their trunks, just checking out one another, saying hello. Hey, how did it go? Was it well? <laughs> yeah. How did it go? <laughs> well, it, they were incredibly calm, actually. I was surprised. I thought that they would be really excited and wound up, but very calmly walked towards the yeah. elephants. They seemed to know they were there, but they were a bit like, whoa, <laughs> what are these big things? It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> I think Just I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's so sweet, it's so touching. So the way this one here, the, the big one, yeah, that's Malika. And that's Natasha, that the yep. trunk is going over. It's so gentle. Mm. I think it's over to the elephants now, isn't it? I think so. Should we step back? Yeah. After everything they've been through in the past few days, it's wonderful to see all these elephants starting to relax. They still have a long way to go before they really bond as a herd, but hopefully, just for the moment, everyone can draw a breath before the next big adventure begins. Tomorrow on Elephant Diaries, rescued babies flood in filling the empty stables of the Nairobi nursery. His father is something's upsetting Emily. And at the new release site, there's big trouble. I woke up this morning feeling on top of the world, really excited about seeing the Ellis again and of course the keepers, and one word has changed all of that, and that word is rabies.